Before I say anything else, I just want to thank God for this chance to do his work in my hometown, and I hope that I'll be worthy of the task that he's given me over the next four years. I also want to thank uh, Dewey Bartlett for 25 years of service to our city. I want to thank uh, the light in my life, my wife Susan, who uh, just this morning took a three and a half hour law school final before coming over here and made it here with us today. I want to thank our kids, Robert and Annabelle, my mom, all our family for their love and support. I want to thank my granddad uh, for being just a wonderful role model in public service and in life. And I want to thank my friends on the city council, my partners in everything that we're going to do. Uh, since my election in June, I've had a lot of actually people in this room, my friends, ask me if I'm the youngest mayor in the history of Tulsa. I'm actually the third youngest. Our second youngest is here today, my friend Mayor Terry Young. The youngest mayor that we ever had was elected in the 1950s. He was 31 years old, Jim Maxwell. Uh, he was the first of what we know today as the greatest generation to serve as our city as mayor. And I'm encouraged because Mayor Maxwell's youth did not prevent him from doing a tremendous amount of good for the city of Tulsa. We're here actually in this space today because he led the creation of the Tulsa City County Library System. The same goes for the Civic Center that's all around us. The same goes for the highways that connect us to our neighbors. The same goes for Tulsa International Airport that connects us to the world. Under him, Tulsa acquired the Gilcrease Museum Collection, the greatest collection of Western art anywhere in the world. Under him, public facilities were desegregated and the political spoil system was removed from the city's hiring practices. He led the tripling of our city's geographic size and actually lost re-election because of it. But because he did that, everything that we know of today as South Tulsa and East Tulsa is part of Tulsa. Now, how does a mayor or a city do all that? How can so much progress be made so quickly? Well, the reality is that Mayor Maxwell, in his time, he was not known for being young. He was known for working hard. He worked twice the number of hours in a week than a normal person did. And I believe he did that because he grasped, during his time in office, the same truth that we do today. And that is that a city can be saved or squandered in one generation. And thank goodness he did work so hard. Because of the work that he and his generation did, Tulsa became one of the great American cities. And we still benefit from their hard work today. But now, we have our chance. We have our chance to work hard, to take on the great challenges that our generation faces, to build the kind of city that we want to live in and to give to the next generation. And that is what I love about city government. The citizens can create whatever kind of city they're willing to build. If we want to have a nationally competitive, world-class city, we can. If we want every child in Tulsa to have the opportunity for a great life, regardless of the part of town they live in, we can. If we want Tulsa to be recognized, for its efficiency and effective government, we can. If we want better education for our kids and better streets for our families and a safer city for us all, we can. All we have to do is be willing to work together and to work hard. And I am ready to work hard. In fact, I thank you for the chance you've given me to give it all I've got over the next four years as your mayor. I know my colleagues on the city council are ready to work hard. They've already demonstrated that in their approach to public service. I know our thousands of employees at the city of Tulsa are ready to work hard. They show up to work every single day to make our lives better. And I am so proud to stand by their side as their mayor.
But we need your help. We need you to dream big. We need you to believe. We need you to set aside all the disagreements that the world has to offer and unite behind those aspirations that we can all agree on. We need every Tulson who's willing to play a part in building a great American city to step up. So now, over half a century after Jim Maxwell is sworn, was sworn in as mayor, yet another new generation is taking up the mantle of leadership in our city. But our purpose remains unchanged. He believed in Tulsa's greatness and toiled with all he had to fulfill it, and we will be similarly motivated. Out of admiration for those who came before us, that their hard work and sacrifice not be squandered away, and out of love for those who come after us, that our community give them all the opportunities in our power to provide. Working together, first and foremost as Tulsans, we will accomplish great things. So let's come together. Let's work hard. It's time to build the city of our dreams. Thank you.